Hello students. Good morning. Welcome back to Mathematics class of Standard 5. This is the part 3 video of the chapter Angle. In today's session, you will be learning about how to solve the exercise problem and in this session, you will be also getting to know how to measure the angles with the help of protractor and you will be also getting to know how to measure the angle by seeing the clock. Now, let's move on to the session. Exercise 6.2 Second problem. Measure the following angle and write the measurement and type of each angle. So, using the protractor, we are going to measure the given angles. So, where we have to keep? We have to keep the center point to the vertex of the angle. Means Vertex means the intersecting point. See here, exactly at what point it just get meets? It get meets at, see here, 10. 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and exactly sharp at 55 point it gets metered. So the degree is 55 degree. Then let us measure for the second one. Where you have to keep the protractor? You have to keep the protractor at the vertex of the given angle. Make sure that the point center meets correctly and the zero degree should be pointing to the other end see here i have kept the protractor correctly to the center of the point and the zero is facing to the other end now see where it gets metered sharp at 95 degree it gets metered so what is the measurement of the given angle 95 degree so remove your protractor then what you have to do is you have to mark 95 degree then the third problem if it is of l shape you need not measure it you can directly write it as 90 degree so let us check whether it is of exactly 90 degree or not see where you have to keep you have to keep in the center see i told you right if it is of l shape then you need not measure it you can directly write it as 90 degree see the sharp 90 degree the point gets metered the next three problem you are going to solve it students now let's solve the third problem observe the acute obtuse and right angle in your classroom and list them so imagine that you are in a classroom so what are the things that you see as acute angle obtuse angle and right angle just mention it the blackboard is of right angle pencil box textbook duster these are all the few examples of right angle now let's see few examples for acute angle in the classroom the alphabets like x y k forms the obtuse angle in classroom let's see how does it forms the obtuse angle see here this side it forms as an obtuse angle. Similarly, on the other side also it forms obtuse angle. Here you see, it is more than 90 degree. I told you, if it is of L shape, then it is of 90 degree. An angle which is of V shape is said to be less than 90 degree. So, if it is of less than 90 degree, then what it is? It is of an acute angle. See here, the angle that is formed in Y is more than 90 degree. So, when it is greater than 90 degree, what it is? It is of an obtuse angle. Similarly, see here for K, the angle that is formed here is of obtuse angle. It is more than 90 degree. So, it is of an obtuse angle. Now, let's see the example of acute angle in your classroom. The alphabets like A. K, M, R, V, W, X, Y, Z forms acute angle. Now let's see where the angles are being formed. For A, see here, the acute angle is formed here. When it is of less than symbol, then this represents the angle will be also less than 90 degree. And if an angle is less than 90 degree, what it is? It is of an acute angle. For K, you see where the point meet? See, here 
the acute angle is formed similarly the other side also acute angle is formed so an angle which is less than 90 degree is said to be acute angle see here the angle is less than 90 degree only for m you see where it is meeting the point meets here so an angle has been formed here and it is of less than symbol if it is of a less than symbol then the angle is of less than 90 degree similarly to the other side angle formed is 90 degree for n you see the points get meter here and it is of less than symbol and here also it is of less than symbol when it is of less than symbol shape then it is of less than 90 degree only see here for r here the acute angle is formed for v the acute angle is formed here for w where it meets here isn't it see on the other sides it meets for x the top and the bottom part is of acute angle see here from top the angle is being formed and it is of an acute angle for z the angle is formed here and here so this two angles are of less than 90 degree then if it is of less than 90 degree what it is it is of acute angle think and write few more examples for acute angle obtuse angle and right angle which you see in your house okay students now let's move on to the fourth question write your name using the english capital letters list the number of acute angle obtuse angle and right angle in them so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to write my name and i'm going to show you how to observe the angles in your name see here now i have written my name from here to here it is of a right angle a is of acute angle n is of acute angle see here here one angle forms here one angle forms here one angle forms here 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 it is of a right angle so i and j are a right angle where a n are acute angle so in this same format only you are going to write your name don't write my name you are going to write your name and you are going to identify what kind of angle forms and you have to mark the angle where it gets formed also okay students see here one more angle is also formed obtuse angle so at a obtuse angle is also formed when two points meet at a common place an angle is formed this is the definition isn't it so at a obtuse angle is also formed next is fifth question draw any six angle using the scale and measure them using protractor so what you're going to do is you're going to randomly draw the line just like this see here just as the given question here randomly drawn the line and afterwards they have asked us to measure isn't it in the same format only you're going to solve the fifth problem now let's solve sixth problem write the measure of angle between two hands of the following clock and name them see here if if it is of l shape it is of right angle keep this in mind students if it is of l shape then it is of right angle if it is of v shape then it is of a acute angle see here the first one it is in the l shape so it is of a right angle then i said if it is of v shape then it is of a acute angle at the same time see here if if the line is beyond 90 degree by seeing this itself you can get to know the line is more than 90 degree so if the line is more than 90 degree then it is obviously obtuse angle when the line goes beyond 90 degree then it is of a obtuse angle so keep this in mind students okay now let's solve the seventh problem choose the right answer from the following here they have given an example example for obtuse angle obtuse angle means what i said it, it should be of more than 90 degree 
so which measure shows you more than 90 degree the third option 178 degree shows you more than 90 degree so it is of a example of obtuse angle in the given figure the number of right angle acute angle and obtuse angle are see here they have given a diagram but it is not clearly printed over here so what i'm going to do i'm going to show you the diagram and i'm going to explain it to you see here this is the diagram that is given in your textbook and they have asked you to find out right angle acute angle and obtuse angle now what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how to identify right angle and acute angle then obtuse angle you're going to find out that is your homework students see here they have given a star like figure inside that they have given a box so this box forms totally four right angles see here so from this side one angle is formed this side to this side another angle is formed from this side third angle is formed from this side to this side the fourth angle is formed so totally there are four right angles how many right angles are there four right angles now let us get to know about acute angle see here this side one acute angle is formed from this side to this side one angle is formed and it is of acute angle similarly from this side to this side one more angle is formed so it is of acute angle this is similar to all other triangle shape which is given here see here one triangle has three angles which is of acute angle so similarly for other triangles also it is same so three 6, 9, 12, 15. So, totally 15 acute angles are being formed. How many acute angles students? 15 acute angle is formed. In this similar pattern only you are going to find out how many obtuse angle is being formed. Now, let's solve the 8th problem. 8th problem. Classify the measures of angle given below. So, here they have given few measures of an angle and they have asked you to classify according to the given angles which is of acute angle which measure is of right angle obtuse angle and straight angle so if it is of less than 90 degree then what it is it is of acute angle see how many measures of angle is less than 90 degree 16 45 35 and 88 how many measures of angle is less than 90 degree 16 88 45 and 35 are the angles that are less than 90 degree. See here, which of the angle is of exactly right angle? Only 90 degree is of exactly right angle. So, right angle means which is of exactly 90 degree. It is not below or greater than 90 degree. Obtuse angle. Obtuse angle means the angle which is of measure is greater than 90 degree is called as obtuse angle. Which are the measures of angle is greater than 90 degree, 179, 100 and 142. So, these are the angles which are greater than 90 degree, 179 degree, 100 degree, 100 degree, 179 degree and 142 degree are the angles which are of obtuse angle. So, what is mean by a straight angle? The measure of angle which is of exactly 180 degree is called as straight angle. So, here 180 degree is of straight angle. Now, let's solve the ninth problem. Estimate the measure of following angles. Verify by measuring them. Name the type of angles. Here, they have measured randomly and they have given an estimate measure. By seeing itself, we will just guess what kind of an angle it will be and what will be the measure of it isn't it students so this is how they have also given so by seeing this they have thought that the measure would be of 110 degree but the actual measure is 120 degree so if it is of greater than 90 degree what it is it is of obtuse angle see here by seeing this we can say that it is of right angle let's measure and see whether it is of 90 degree or not See here, now I have kept the protractor. The line gets exactly metered at the point 90 degree. So, 
estimation value and the actual value are correct. So, if it is of 90 degree, what it is? It is of right angle. What it is? It is of right angle. This two problem is your homework students. Now, let's solve the tenth problem. Measure the angles in the figure given below and find the sum of angles. Here, two type of angle has been given and which has the common point. So, what you are going to do is, you are going to keep the protractor in the vertex and you are going to find it. See here, what is the measure? The arrow falls in between 50 and 60 and it exactly shows to 55 degree. So, the angle formed is 55 degree. So, the first angle is of 55 degree. Now, let's measure for the second. Since it has common vertex, you can measure the angle from the center point itself. See, now the angle which is formed second is 21, 122, 123, 124 and 125. The second angle formed is 125 degree. The sum of 55 and 125 is 180 degree. So, the angle which is formed first is of acute angle and the second is of obtuse angle. And the sum of these two forms the straight angle. The second is your homework students. So, this is all about today's class. Until we meet in next class, keep learning the concepts that have been taught to you so far.